Hi everyone, this is Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems, and today I'm going to be doing a real-time setup and demo and an unboxing of the plug-and-play package with the brand new SkyBridge Hotspot. Okay, so now we're going to unbox this thing and set it up all in real time. Okay, open up the box here. I'm really excited for this SkyBridge plug-and-play package. This is a new thing, one of a kind. Um, these sky bridges are brand new, so if you get one of these, you'll have cutting edge ham radio technology. So here we go, here's the radio itself. And uh, looks like a, some adapters for the sky bridge. Let's take it out of the box here. Uh, it looks like we, we got a sheet that kind of shows what frequency it was set up on, what type of radio we have, some of the, the information there. Here's the, the SkyBridge, check that out. This is cool, we have the, the new design BridgeCom system, SkyBridge, uh, dual band DMR hotspot. Open this guy up, there we go, sweet. There's the hotspot itself. That's cool, this has a screen, that's one of the really cool features about it. So you're gonna be able to, to see the, the call sign of people you're talking to on the air uh, without having to have that stored in your radio. Let's see what else we get. Get a, a USB cable, looks like a USB cable and power bricks. You can be able to power this thing. Uh, Ethernet cable, and then an antenna for the sky bridge. Add that on there. And what else did we get in this box? We've got a, looks like a battery. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so you can, you can attach uh, your USB cable to this battery and run this setup completely wirelessly. Uh, so if you attach this to your Wi-Fi hotspot on your cell phone, uh, this will connect via Wi-Fi and then you can run it off this battery and, and not be attached by any wires at all. Uh, so you can take this on the go, uh, you could use this, take it in your vehicle and then these, the car charger or the USB charger can also double as a charger for this battery too. Uh, so you can charge that up no matter where you are. Awesome, and then this is the Ethernet adapter for the cable itself. We'll allow it to plug into the hotspot. Open up the radio here. So it looks like, see there, there we go. Access to Bridgecom University. Uh, so this is great, it's a, usually charge $97 for that. They just throw it in with this package. Uh, it's a course, has over 100 tutorial videos that show you just about everything on how to use the radio, how to set it up, everything like that. Now you're bypassing most of that by buying this package, uh, but if you want to learn more about it in the, in the future, add local repeaters, stuff like that, it is there for you to do that. Some Anytone stickers, user manuals. Okay, here we go. Here's the radio itself. Take that out of the box here. Cool. And then see what else we get. Okay, here we go. Here's a USB cable, programming cable, so it looks like that. Uh, allows us to program the radio. Wrist strap for the radio. Um, here's a USB charging cable. Uh, looks like that's for this little Bluetooth push to talk button. Uh, so this allows you to connect this via Bluetooth, strap it on your steering wheel, and uh, use this going down the road to activate your radio if you have it connected up via Bluetooth. Belt clip. Here we go. Here's the battery for the radio. Get that out. We're going to need this here in a second. Okay, and then that belt clip, you can attach it there if you'd like. Stick that on here. And here we go. Here's the antenna. Uh, now this will be perfect for using with a hotspot, but if you uh, ever need to hit local repeaters that are further away, we do also offer some uh, Nagoya antennas, and Nagoya 771 is the one I would recommend for that. Uh, great, a little bit higher gain, a little bit longer. Uh, if you're just using, using it with a hotspot though, this guy is going to be more than sufficient. And in here, it looks like we have a uh, wall adapter for the charger. Uh, one of the cool things with these chargers is you can charge, put the radio in there uh, and charge the radio, or you can take the battery off and charge the battery by itself. So I like to have, get me a couple of batteries and have one in the charger and uh, one on the radio. Close the side. 
think that's everything in the box here. So, let's see, we are going to need... Okay, so here's the USB cable, not the one that came with the Skybridge. Make sure we get the right one here. Here we go, perfect. So here's the USB cable for the Skybridge hotspot. This is exciting, I'm excited to try out the Skybridge. Okay, now there is something important about when you plug this in. Uh, you want to make sure this power cable is on the right micro USB port. That's going to be closest to this uh, wall here, if you will, on, on the far right side. Um, not the one closer to the center. That will make a difference. Uh, it'll power up either way, but it's only going to work properly this way. Uh, if you tried to do it the other way, it's not, not going to get on the air and you won't have any success. So. Just to keep that in mind, if, if you're having trouble with it, make sure to double check that, uh, that the power is on the right side, and then this Ethernet is going to plug in to the left side. There we go, just like that. So we are going to plug this into our uh, power and router over here. There we go, plugged into the router, and now we're plugged into power. Perfect. Turn on the radio. See if we can access the parrot. Now the sky, the sky bridge itself can take a couple minutes to power up, so we're gonna let it power up. Uh, you'll see a startup screen and then it, it turns online. It also has some LED indicators here to show you what mode you're on, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, overall, very impressed with this so far. Uh, I guess now that the real question is if it's uh, set up properly and how easy it's gonna be to make a contact or uh, get have the parrot get back to us. Here we go, you can see the, the startup screen here. So it's, it's almost ready. Just to verify, we've got the radio. Radio itself is on the Parrot, so you can just flick through the channel knob to change your, your talk groups. And don't forget, when you change talk groups, you wanna go over to, it's on here at TG, that's Tango Golf Disc, which is talk group disconnect and key that up until you hear not linked, and that, that's what disconnects you from a talk group. So, but we don't need to worry about for this, this first contact here, so we're gonna see if we can get this parrot to work. Testing, one, two, three. This is W3AMG. Testing, one, two, three. This is W3AMG. There we go, check that out. How, how cool is that? Just within a few minutes, we had this thing fully unboxed, set up, and it is working. Let's try that again. This is W3AMG test testing out the new SkyBridge hotspot. This is W3AMG test testing out the new SkyBridge hotspot. There we go, that is awesome, how cool is that? Uh, just within a few minutes, we were up and on the air showing my my call sign there what talk group i was on everything like that that is that is so cool so if you'd like to get one of these sky bridges for yourself uh, we'll have links in the video description down below uh, go over to bridgecomsystems.com they got a lot of great resource on on this as well uh, they'll help you out with anything you need and all we need from you is just your call sign and dmr id uh, so Really, it's that simple. So. so that's it for now. This new SkyBridge hotspot is awesome. I really like it, and I think you will too. If you would like to pick up one of these plug-and-play packages all set up out of the box for you, uh, there's links in the description. You can go over there and do that. All we need from you is your DMR ID and call sign. If you already have an amateur radio call sign, you can get a radio ID, a DMR ID for free. It's super easy. So that's it for now. I'm Cody, W3AMG, with BridgeCom Systems 7.3.